Okay, so we're going to be talking about units of conversion of mass and volume, that's 12.7. We're going to convert um, <clears throat> kilograms to grams and liters to milliliters. So in this example, they gave us a word problem. Becky planted a flower garden full of blue bonnet bonnets. She used nine kilograms of soil. How many grams of soil is that? So we're going from big to small. I need my reference sheet here. So I'm going from kilograms to grams. Like I said, kilo, the prefix kilo means big. So I'm going big to small, which means I'm going to multiply. So nine times a thousand, I got a thousand because there's a thousand grams in one kilogram. So nine times a thousand, we do the zeros method and we get nine thousand. Then we write our answer here. So Becky used... 9,000 grams and you would do the same thing here now let's go here this is the longer version just step by step there are three liters so let me cubs my word problem three liters of water in a pitcher how many milliliters of water are in the pitcher so I have to go ahead and create my word problem my, my problem so three liters How many milliliters? It's supposed to be in there. You go. So I go back to my reference sheet. Liters to milliliters. How many milliliters in one liter? A thousand. So I ask myself, am I going big to small or small to big? Milli means small. So this is small. Meaning that I'm going big to small. So I'm going to multiply it by the amount, 1,000. You see, it says 1,000 milliliters. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I set my problem up. So now I go here step by step. There are how many milliliters in one liter? We know that because we have a reference sheet. So there is 1,000 milliliters in one liter. Since I'm changing from a larger unit to a smaller unit, look, larger bigger to smaller I can multiply you can do the symbol or you can write the question three by a thousand to find the number of milliliters in three liters so now we go ahead and do the <clears throat> problem three times a thousand is we do the zeros method and you bring them over and you get a three thousand so we go ahead and plug in the answer so there are three thousand milliliters of water in the pitcher and you will do the same thing here and same thing here and here and here now when you reach six and seven you have to set them up one kilogram equals how many grams let's see grams is only a g so now you set these up because they're asking you to answer in greater than, less than, or equal to. So I have to first find out what, how many grams are in a kilogram. Is it true or is it not? I have to use my reference sheet. The same thing for here. Two liters equal how many milliliters? I have to use my reference sheet, but I want you to set this up. Okay, and you'll be doing that. This is just a pattern. If you look at your reference sheet, it doubles. So if it goes by a thousand, we use the zero, the zero method too. If this is one liter and there's a thousand milliliters in one liter, then how many would there be in the two? Remember, zero methods and three. And you just plug in the missing number. Here is the same thing. I want you to use, go ahead and write, create the problem. So as you can see here, it says eight liters of water into milliliters. So that means my problem is going to look like this. 8 liters, that's an 8. Oof, 8 liters into milliliters, and so on and so on, okay? You do not have to do this page, but this is your homework. You're only going to do the first page, okay, of your homework. And that is all. Please be ready for tomorrow's lesson. This is something we've already done. Be ready for any questions during our Zoom.